Hey, what's up, Internet? Welcome back. This is part two um, because my makeshift BMX inner tube rubber duct tape combination seal didn't work. It didn't leak bad, but it leaked enough that um, it just wasn't going to be usable. Um, it, had it only dripped a drop here and there, that wouldn't be so bad. I could work with that, but it was dripping more than a drop. It was a constant small dribble. So we've put the original fuel pump back into the tank just because I know it's going to seal. I'm a 99.9999% sure it's going to seal. Um, so let's flip it over and dump some warm water in it. It will work this time, I swear. Got a half a gallon. We're gonna end up putting two and a half gallons of water, lukewarm water, in the tank, along with tank prep A. It's gonna take many hours. We're gonna to have to move the tank into different positions because it's a four and a half gallon tank. Two and a half gallons is obviously not going to cover all of the areas. So we're going to have to move the tank in the kinds of uh, different kinds of uh, positions to make sure that we etch and remove all the rust everywhere. All right, so it doesn't look like we're leaking as expected because we've got the original seal back in. Even after 15 years, it didn't look that bad. There's a fairly thick rubber um, grommet, if you will, that sits between the fuel pump base and the tank. And it still looked like it was in pretty good condition. It wasn't like hard and cracked and dry rot. It was, uh, it was usable. Obviously we're not leaking. So next step is to dump in two more gallons of water and tank prep a mix it up real good. And off we go. Okay, so we've got tank prep A in with two and a half gallons of lukewarm water. Now comes the part where you need lots of patience. We're going to first shake this thing up pretty good. And then we're going to sit it in different positions for many hours, probably about six hours to make sure that the, the chemical and the treatment gets to hit every square inch of the, the tank metal on the inside. That's the goal. All right, we've made it to the last stage of cleaning out this tank and giving it a new liner. And that last stage is dumping the cream liner into the tank and uh, swishing it all around essentially. Um, but before we do that, today is actually Friday, January 1st, 2021. So happy new year to everybody. I hope, uh, hope the new year is starting off uh, grand for you wherever you're at. And um, this has been a journey. This gas tank has been a journey. Um, just to give you an idea of what kind of journey we're talking about, I started recording this part two of cleaning the tank out last year. The moment of truth has arrived. Um, we're ready to dump the liner. If I can get through the childproof lock. <laughs> All right, there it is. Uh, we're ready to dump the liner into the tank. So that's it. We completed the tank uh, cleaning and recoding. Um, I'm gonna have to go through this real quick because the battery on the camera is about to die and I don't want to do it again and wait for it to charge. So here we go. Uh, we disassembled, drained, because I still had fuel in the tank after the last time it ran 15 years ago. So disassembled, drained, we took it to the car wash, rinsed it out. Then we put the tank prep A in the tank and that's a very lengthy process where you got to move the tank around in different positions, make sure you get 100% coverage of all of the surface material inside the tank. And then I drained that. I used a funnel with um, some screen material to filter out any of the flakes of rust and whatnot that came out of the tank because I knew there was a chance I might 
want to use the tank prep a solution a second time depending on how well it did it the first time so we drained it i inspected it actually we drained it took it to the car wash rinsed it out and then i inspected it i found a couple spots i wasn't happy with so we did the tank prep a solution again then i drained it again rinsed it out one more time was happy with it put the tank prep b in which is essentially alcohol and removes any of the residual water from the rinse and um and then we put the liner in one thing to note is there's a lot of details in the instructions a lot of steps and you definitely want to pay attention to that read them more than once for example after you put the tank prep b your last final rinse in you put the tank prep b the alcohol to remove any residual water you don't want to um, dry the tank out you don't want to wait it says in the instructions to immediately apply the recoat or the liner material so there you go that's it i'm super pumped because if it works if it holds gas um if if it uh <laughs> if the recoat the liner the new liner um stands up to to the fuel then we're we're just about ready to fire this thing up i'm waiting for fuel pump parts they are on back order unfortunately depending on how long those take i may continue just moving forward with the rest of the bike we need to take the brakes apart they need to be cleaned out put new hose lines in rebuild master cylinders so those will probably be some of the next videos once the fuel part uh, fuel pump parts come in we just assemble we put gas in there put the carburetors on it's probably just a couple of hours of work and then we're ready to try and start the engine so stay tuned um as always keep the rubber side down and um like share subscribe um hit the notification bells just click on stuff um it'll it'll be all good youtube youtube will take care of you <laughs> um that's it we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching guys bye <laughs>